to the sector. <laughs> so we can get more clones. Yeah, exactly. The glass is called flash glass, right. and it's characterized by a very thin veneer of color. Right. It's very bright. Right. If this glass were solid blue, it would be black, basically. Okay. So uh, I put a contact paper stencil over the glass, mm -hmm. and I sandblast a pattern. And you can sandblast the blue all the way off, right. or part of the way off, for different effects. Right. And the same with red. Then if I uh, combine yellow paint, when you stack them one on top of each other, you get red, yellow, clear, green, blue, black, orange, and other effects. Right. So with the head, the head is three layers of glass. This is red on clear, and the red on clear layer has been sandblasted and then engraved with a flexible shaft drill and a diamond file. Those diamond files. Now, is that pretty like standard, or is that like? Oh a... hell no! Okay. No no no. <laughs> I think most people's uh, most stained glass artists sandblast a little, but not very much. They... Flash glass is really expensive. They don't like to use it. Um, okay. So, uh, and I, I think I invented the whole diamond file thing. These diamond files, which are for lamp workers to smooth out the edges of their beads when they pop them off those wires. Okay. Is that a technical term? Uh, <laughs> so this is a lamp working tool, but it will file the glass like so and make these smooth tones. Right. So I rough it out with a sandblaster. Mm -hmm. I do more uh, sort of in between rough and delicate with the flexible shaft engraver and then I go into it with a diamond file to make the really smooth gradations. Right. Then I paint the glass with um, glass paint. It's called vitreous paint. That's right. the actual word. And I fire... <laughs> well, there's glass paint to, is different things to different people. The correct word for the exact product that I use mm -hmm. in my field is vitreous paint. It's not enamel. <laughs> it's not glass paint because that's sort of a hobbyist thing that doesn't right. fire on. It's not enamels or different colors and okay. they fire on at different temperatures. It's, uh, you know, whatever. Okay. So this is vitreous paint. I fired on in a kiln. It fires on at 1200 And how, lo degrees. how long does it sit in a kiln for? Oh, not that long. Oh, um, really? A few hours. Okay. To cool, but I... I just bring it up as fast as I can. Do you have a kiln here? Yeah, right should... over there. Oh, okay. Wow. And, uh, <clears throat> and that's the red layer. I s similarly engraved the blue on clear. Mm -hmm. And also the pink on clear. The pink on clear has some yellow paint. Right. And then you get a full-on right. color situation like that when wow. you're done. So it's like a color separation. That's the easiest thing to compare it yep. to. And in terms of the carving technique, it's probably easiest to think of it like a cameo. Right. Like I'm removing material. I'm not painting on the colors. Right. So many people think that I paint these things like I get basically window glass and I sit there with enamels and paint it on. That's not what I'm doing. <laughs> it's removed. The color is being removed, not added. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> so you were explaining earlier how the reason they're put together kind of like jigsaw pieces is because strength and... Well, it's, that's the way a stained glass window is made, and it derives from the fact that if you want different colors in your window, you had to cut different chunks. So, in my case, I could use this technique to make a big square window right. with an image on it, the way um, a color separation really works for a poster. Right. But you're, you are limited to these two colors to make all the colors, and that would not give you certain combinations mm -hmm. that you might be looking for right. like, and different colors of green and right. stuff like that and also <clears throat> so, is that me? Yeah. that's not good um, also uh, if you just make a uh, um, window out of one sheet it, it just seems vulnerable to me I know plenty yeah. of glass artists who do that huh. I mean like that's not, it's just uh, gives me the willies right 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 I have a question for yeah. you. Do you think that, uh, how long do you want to stay?